A pilgrim is someone who goes with, armed with nothing, uh, is defenseless and is open to the experience. A pilgrim doesn't come with a mission uh, to uh, sort of uh, proselytize or convert anyone. A pilgrim comes to respect and honor the sanctuary that they seek. In my case, I was visiting the sanctuary of the human heart. I actually woke up out of a dream one morning, and the dream was to go day by day to a different church every day around the world. I took it to my spiritual director. I said, I've got a dream, I've got a dream. And he said, I want you to forget it. Because if you can forget your dream, it was just a fantasy. But if it's something that keeps coming back to your heart, then it's something from the Holy Spirit. Cardinal George wrote me a, a letter of introduction, which I sent to other bishops throughout the world. Over two years of time, I was able to get enough connections to be able to plan the trip and trust that I'd be able to be safe in all of these countries. January 1st, 2007. This is what it is about, leaving everything behind. I am not my job. I am not my condominium. I am not my car, my bank account. I was with the Melkite Catholics in Israel. These are Arab-speaking Palestinians, and they're Christian. I said, you know, I'm going back to the United States. What would you like me to tell American Catholics, especially the young people? And they said, we would just be happy if you told them that we are here, because we feel so forgotten. That was transformative to me in the empty degree, because how often is that we don't even recognize that there are other people in the world who are struggling, who are trying to survive, and their, their greatest struggle is just for identity. The largest youth event in the world is something I got to experience, and it's a pilgrimage to Lujan. This is in Argentina, and every year, uh, around October 18th, one million youth take a hike 30 miles into the countryside of Argentina to go visit a shrine to experience the eagerness with which they want to share their faith uh, is something that's just contagious. The faith is, is, is about passion. I think in America, we've got loving God with our mind down very well, but the heart and the soul, uh, other cultures teach us that more fully. Every day, I would wake up and I would say this prayer, Dear God, lead me where you need me to go and show me what you need me to see. One of the major aspects of my life now is a responsibility to share these stories to other youth in America. In an age of globalization, to realize that our faith doesn't just end with worship on Sunday, but connects us to our daily actions that impact the entire world.